Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. I'm Tyler Patner. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Glock 17 Gen 3 BB pistol from Umarex. Before we get into the review today, throw us a like down below, comment, let us know what you think of the video after you're done watching it, and don't forget to subscribe. So for those of you that aren't familiar with Glock, the firearms manufacturer out of Austria, the 17 is probably their most popular pistol, and rightfully so, it was really their first pistol made uh, back in the early 80s and started winning military contracts the world over, and to this day is probably their most popular gun. For many years, air gunners everywhere really lusted after Glock replicas because they weren't available. Finally, in 2018, Umarex and Glock partnered up with a licensing agreement, and now we have the Gen 3. 17 here. This is really their first blowback BB pistol here in the Glock family. There are some airsoft variants available and we do have a non-blowback 19 available as well, but this is our first blowback model. Now this model is a 177 caliber BB CO2 repeater, uh, of course with that blowback action, which we'll show you guys up close here in just a second. But first, let's take a look at some of the finer details of this Glock 17. On the left hand side of the Glock 17 BB pistol, you'll find a slide lock slide release that's fully functional, your magazine release, you'll also find some nice texturing which is ambidextrous on both sides of the grip frame as well as ambidextrous rear slide serrations. And coming around to the back of the gun, you'll notice you have a nicely textured back strap. And then moving on to the top of the slides, you do have the very unique Glock sights. Now, ironically, these are metal sights, unlike the, what comes with the actual firearm, which are plastic. You get your traditional U and then your dot that goes right in the center of it. And one thing I like that Umarex has done, you don't actually have to cut that dot in half like you do with a real Glock 17. So they've done a good job here with these sights. Moving around to the right hand side of the pistol, you do have those ambidextrous rear slide serrations and grip texturing that I mentioned previously. You also have some finger grooves in there with some texturing in between to give you that tactile feel. And then of course, moving to the trigger, we do have that unique safe action trigger safety that you do have to depress that tab in the middle to go ahead and pull that trigger back. Now at the very front of the gun on the underside, you'll find a lockout style safety. You get a red dot when you're hot and ready to shoot and a white dot if you have that safety engaged, which will also lock out the trigger. On the underside of the trigger guard, you'll find your warning and you'll find the obligatory caliber markings and all of that uh, printed on the underside of here as well. And then of course we do have our Glock accessory rail, which gives you a single slot for your lights and your lasers. And the heart and soul of this Glock 17 Gen 3 is the magazine itself, holding both your CO2 and your BBs. You have your CO2 compartment, which has a nice wide opening for you to load that cartridge into. It's only loadable from one side. And then you slide that base pad forward, which is going to expose the piercing screw underneath. Very easy to do with the included Allen key. And a nice feature they've gone ahead and add here is for that follower, uh, for that spring-loaded follower to load your BBs in, they actually have a recess at the very bottom of the track for it that's going to allow you to lock that follower in place while you're loading BBs. It's an 18-round BB mag, and you're able to shoot them just as fast as you can pull the trigger. So while this 17 Gen 3 is 100% to scale, fits in the same holsters, all that good stuff, there is one area that I do have a personal gripe with, uh, that is going to give you a little bit of a hang up if you are coming from the firearm side of this and expecting this to function exactly the same. And that's really that trigger mechanism. And what I mean by that, if you are used to shooting to a reset, which what I mean is if you normally let that cycle and then your finger only comes off the trigger until that trigger resets, which on the Glock is usually very pronounced and very audible and tactile, uh, you actually can pull this trigger. It's only going to let CO2 out. You are actually not cycling the action, the magazine specifically. You need to let your finger all the way off the trigger in order to be able to load another round and then break that trigger. And then you will go ahead and shoot a BB. So something to keep in mind if you are an actual user, if you expect to just shoot to that initial reset, this isn't going to give you that realistic experience. So again, not a fault per se, but just something to keep in mind and a personal gripe since I myself I'm a Glock owner and shooter. So because of the way this trigger mechanism functions and the way it interacts with the magazine leads to my second gripe. Uh, we've gone ahead and taken apart one of these pistols. I don't recommend you do this purely because number one, it's a little bit difficult to get back together. And number two, it's gonna void your warranty, so don't do it at home. Uh, but you will notice on this pistol here that there's this slider here that's coming back as your trigger mechanism uh, brings the hammer back as well. Uh, and what that's doing, that's actually going to interact with this piece on the magazine right here, which is going to push a BB, as you see there, 
into the barrel. So when I go ahead and load this in, and you'll notice this doesn't have CO2 in it for safety reasons, of course, I can go ahead and pull that trigger and it is actually pushing a BB out of the magazine and into the barrel. You guys can see that happening. Now I have like three or four BBs loaded into this barrel. And when there's CO2 in this guy, it will actually shoot multiple BBs, basically turning your Glock 17 into a shotgun. Um, so for those of you at home that might stage the trigger and then come off of it, know that there's a BB already in that barrel. You're gonna have to shoot two BBs down the barrel. It's not a huge deal, but basically you're gonna have a bunch of BBs coming out of that barrel. So something to keep in mind. So now that we've gone over some of the quirks and the details of the Glock 17 Gen 3, let's get this magazine loaded up with BBs and CO2 so we can hit the range. Now, I always recommend going ahead and putting on some safety glasses whenever you're dealing with loading or unloading of CO2, particularly because it might, you know, spray some gas at you. Uh, but first things first with this magazine, very simple to do. You're going to push that base pad forward until you expose your piercing screw underneath. Take an Allen key which is included, of course, with the gun. Go ahead and loosen that guy up, very simple. And then you're gonna drop your CO2 cartridge into the magazine, just like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and tighten it up. Now you do wanna make sure that when you go ahead and pierce this, you'll feel it getting tight, that you go kinda quick, so just like this. So to keep it fresh against that seal, you don't waste any gas, you guys heard it pierce there. Uh, pretty easy to do, just something to keep in mind when you're loading CO2 into the gun. So now that we have CO2 pierced and ready to go, we're gonna put BBs in it. Now this is one of my favorite magazine designs purely because the follower has some place to rest. You're just gonna pull that follower down and then lock it into that side slot here. Umarex, thank you guys, love this design of a magazine. Super easy to deal with. And then we're just gonna take our BBs, drop them in like so, and then tip it up just like that for you guys. If you drop a few, not a big deal. Normally would do this over a bowl or something like that to catch any ones that I drop. This magazine holds 18 BBs, so it is actually authentic to the real thing, which I like as well. If you think about 17 plus one, so 18 BBs is a great number for this Glock 17 pistol. Just get her loaded up like so. You go ahead and release that follower and you're ready to hit the range, which is what we're gonna do now. So for the accuracy testing today, we did everything offhand, so free handing it, no bench, seven yards, 21 feet, which is your standard kind of self-defense practical pistol training distance, and all 10 shot groups. So starting with the Dust Devil BBs, they perform pretty well. Uh, if you load the mag over 10, we did have some hangups here, but 10 and under work just fine. This is an inch and a half group. It's okay, not great. Moving on to the Hornady Black Diamond BBs, inch and a quarter, uh, nine out of 10 under an inch, not too bad. Uh, moving to the Air Venturi Steel BBs, you got nine out of 10 and three quarters of an inch, one drop and low for an inch and a quarter. Daisy Match, inch and a quarter for all 10, pretty solid. Crossman Copperheads, inch and an eighth, so we're getting better, but the best of all, the Air Venturi Smart Shop BBs, 10 shots, three quarters of an inch. I'm pretty impressed with this, this is good for me. We're gonna get a fresh CO2 cartridge in this and put some Smart Shop BBs in it and see how many shots we get per fill. So off of a fresh 12 gram CO2 cartridge, we got 75 shots before things started to really slow down, before I could feel it in that recoil with this Glock 17, and 90 shots total until it failed the lock back. So that was actually the last shot of the magazine where it just didn't have enough juice to get it all the way back to slide lock. Uh, so not bad, you know, certainly plenty of magazines worth of shooting you're gonna do. One other thing I wanna mention, you'll notice we were a little high on this target. Uh, I was trying to aim high so I could see it fall through the red and it ended up not falling too much before it ran out of gas. So pretty impressive shot count as well as accuracy from the Glock 17 Gen 3.
So the Glock 17 Gen 3, as you guys saw, a very accurate little BB pistol. I was honestly surprised by the accuracy, as well as that sight alignment was pretty impressive as well. A good number of shots per CO2, and it's putting out some pretty good velocity here with a variety of BBs. Uh, and really doesn't have any issues, no hang-ups that we experienced outside of those dust devils. If you load the mag too high, uh, it will hang up on you. But outside of that, this gun has been a stout performer and has put a lot of rounds downrange accurately with zero problems. As I said before, I'm not a huge fan of the trigger. It's on the heavy side, obviously well over what a stock firearm Glock trigger is. Uh, and also the ability, that the, the fact that you're kind of pre-staging the magazine and loading BBs in with that trigger mechanism, I think creates a little bit of that inauthentic experience that you might get. But for the price point, I do believe that this is a very, very solid offering from Umarex and it obviously performs very well. I'm very excited for the full blowback Gen 4 version that's going to be coming out later in 2019, but this Gen 3 is certainly one to consider if you are looking for a Glock BB pistol. As always, guys, if you liked the review today, throw us a like. If you have something to say, sound off in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. For the Insider, I'm Tyler Patner. We'll see you guys at the next one.